What are the rules of glass utensils, such as drinking glasses, Pyrex dishes? So the truth is that there's a big difference here between Ashkenazim and Sfardim. The, the ruling for Sfardim is that glass does not absorb, which means that in theory, a glass Pyrex that was used to cook meat could theoretically, after it is cleaned very well, be used to cook dairy. Not that we're recommending that in practice, but in theory, that's what could be done. Certainly, to use a, a drinking glass for both for meat meal, dairy meal, as long as it's uh, washed out very well. So for Sardim, that would pose no issue at all. For Ashkenazim, though, Ashkenazim hold that not only does glass absorb, but there are, there are those that say that, and, and this is how Ashkenazim follow this for Pesach, that it can't even be kashered. It has the status of ceramic, which means that not only does it absorb, but it absorbs and it cannot be kashered. What does that mean practically? Well, if I'm only using my glasses cold, so then there's no absorption in them anyway. So if I only drink in them cold milk, juice, soda, so really they can be used at both a meat or a dairy meal because there's no kashers issue with them. If I'm going to use my Pyrex dish though, which is going to be used hot, then I have to designate it either milk or meat. I cannot use it for both. And if I do, food would become forbidden. Now, when it comes to washing these, I should designate them as either I treat them as dairy or as meat. I shouldn't put them both into a meat dishwasher and into a dairy dishwasher. So I, I could serve them at both meals because they're always used cold. But in terms of the washing, if it's washed in a meat dishwasher, it would be considered meat at that point and therefore it shouldn't be also placed in the dairy dishwasher.